OGs turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. OGs turn to ban. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our coverage of the MDL Lab. Uh, my name's Eddie Pixel. I'm Charlie Jurassic, and we're here now for Game Two: Evil Geniuses versus OG. And well, Andy, one, it was a little bit of a mess. G, can they get back in Game Two? I would think so. I mean, I still think that EG's plan and lineup wasn't bad. It's just that they deviated, I think, a little bit too far from the landing phase and just trying to do too much instead of just playing it a bit more slow and then getting the core items that you need and then running around the map like madmen and trying to find kills. I think that's really what hurt them the most, but we are moving on to game number two. Uh, we can see OG's hero prioritization. They pretty much, they had first pick or wait, did they have first pick in the first game? EG has first pick now, which leads me to believe that they should have had first pick in game one. Uh, I can't remember. But either way, they ban OD. So they, they obviously... You don't want OD. Yeah. They value this hero super highly, because they picked it for Ana, he destroyed on it. They don't want to play against it because they don't have first pick, so they're removing it, which is understandable given the performance that he just had. So I'm curious to see if with the, the OD being taken out, if EG wants to try something similar to what they did in game one, because I feel like that was probably one of the only heroes outside of OG that could have had as much influence as he did, barring maybe Fly, who was also everywhere and making sure that he was getting kills. So we'll find out here in a second. Right, let's see what they open with. EG. Is it going to be something similar to the last game or something different? It's going to be similar. They still take that IO for crit. I mean, certainly a you know, crit, IO, it's all in. You know what I mean? There's, I don't really think you can put that pick or blame in, in game one. You know, it's IO crit is going to be fine. Pretty much whatever game. You just got to change what you do around it. But you can always rely on just just picking that up first for crit. It's it's super safe. Yeah, I feel like he didn't really get a chance to showcase how good he actually is at the hero. Primarily because they fell behind at, I would say, a very early stage. Not necessarily in terms of farm and experience, but because of what their lineup was supposed to be able to do. And it just never really got to that point. So this time around, hopefully he can have a better showing. The OG. They're going with the Kankasang King. This oh looks boy. like an e-home opening, honestly. Like, if I was watching TI, it's... and I didn't know the yeah. names of either of these teams, I'd be like, this is e-home playing right now. And, um, I mean, I'm sure in these games that will be touched upon, there's still a Shadow Demon and a Luna in the lineup, you know, in the draft pool available. I mean, yeah. I, I don't even think... Be aware. That's not yeah. going to get through, surely. I mean, I at least the Shadow EG... Demon, for sure. I don't think the EG can pick Shadow Demon, though. Yeah, yeah. Because well, if... Shadow Demon I is just too weak as a combo. Yeah, because you, you yeah. need a, a core that can actually do something with the Shadow Demon. And I feel like most of the time you want it to be the other support or have, like, I guess an Invoker or something if you're going to be sending it mid. So I guess maybe they could do it, but I don't feel like it's super strong. And similar to in the last game, they picked the, the Omni Knight IO. That does make your laning phase pretty subpar, which is why I feel like they they felt forced into the situation where they had to go aggro try. Because if they didn't do that, then their supports were going to be pressuring the map a cumulative zero. They just do nothing. So, yeah, I'm curious to see if he's going to deviate from that kind of pick two supports that have more of a mid-game timing and just say screw the laning fist, because it's kind of what they did in the first game, even though their aggro try ended up pressuring enough to be able to get, you know, universe to farm. We'll find out here. I'm taking the time with this. It's an important match. You know, dropping at this stage, you're in a bit of a rocket position as you go through. Uh, I believe you'll be playing day two uh, if you lose today. But they're going to stick with the same old. They want that combo. The Io, the Omni Knight. I mean, to be fair, you know, I, we imagine it will be crit Io and die Omni. They, they both can play vice versa. And I think that a big difference this time is 
when they pick it because last game Omni was third pick, so they move the pick up to second, yes. which means they're gonna ban Naga, or they're gonna ban something that they feel like last game was annoying. Maybe Oracle, who knows? Because I think that OG could still potentially field Oracle and it would be good. Heck, maybe they even ban them both. I don't know, but both of those heroes are really good against Omni because Omni doesn't offer any wave clear, and Oracle can just dispel everything that you do. So it's it's pretty much a, a hard counter. <laughs> And there we go. Yeah. You, you just, I mean, you saw it in the first series today, you know, you don't, as a team, want to want to go against an Naga twice. Especially if you lose to it. If you beat it, then fair enough. But, you know, especially if you're going to run the same two kind of Ion heroes that can be pretty screwed by a farm Naga. Don't I, let it through. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where in the first game, they probably thought that just the aggro try would be enough to shut it down. And if their rotations worked, I think they could have easily snowballed the game because the defensive plays from OG were just a little bit too strong. It allowed No Tail to get off the ground. Obviously, Anna had a standout performance. And all those things kind of coming together just made the Omni Knight feel pretty lackluster. But this time around, they're going to get rid of one of the biggest issues that he had in the last game, which was his inability to actually take fights because all the lanes were just constantly being pushed out. So now, up against a Kunkka and a Sand King, with, you know, no Naga Siren, Omni Knight yeah. seems a heck of a lot better than he did in the first game already. So we'll, we'll see how much, um, you know, Crit wants to prioritize maybe getting rid of the Oracle, because I feel like that hero was also really, really annoying for him. Or maybe they have a different plan here. But yeah, there goes Storm Spirit again. We talked about the synergy in game one. They last banned it on the side of OG when uh, they were looking to pick Sumail's hero. I mean, do you think that, the, I mean, EG, if you're EG, are you just not worried about a Shadow Demon? I mean, it's with the Kunkka SK, you know, you've got the set. It's, uh, you know, the ult online, it can really deal with anyone that Omni's trying to save. It is annoying, but I think that Shadow Demon is in some ways easier to deal with than okay. like an Oracle, for example, because the Oracle prevents damage output, saves the hero, and it doesn't, you know, make you stationary for two and a half seconds. So it's not as much as a hard save. Okay, they're actually going to ban the SD instead. So but as you said, this could mean that OG will get the Oracle. Yeah. Which you think. If you're OG, you, as you said, you you would rather you you want that Oracle. I would you, I would want Oracle yeah. over Shadow Demon personally, but I don't yeah. know how the teams actually favor the. Obviously, you know, I think more the partner the Shadow Demon would be a little bit more. They think combination of Shadow Demons, not just and there Shadow is. Demon. And it's exactly as you said. They I, and you feel as well that if you are OG in that. Would you rather you get the hands on the Shadow Demon or the Oracle? You probably would have the Oracle. I think Oracle is objective and solely because okay. there's no reason. Okay. Last game, you actually were able to develop with everything else. And so, is technical person in the It's really, really great. I'm just coming out. I mean, is this... Definitely going to be a universe axe, or could, could we say anything like a Samael axe? Could they switch the, the role, the, kind of the lanes around as such, or will this I be a universe axe? Yeah. I, I would yeah. say that it's probably the axe. How G can do for Samael. It's guaranteed Sank, probably. And uh, they're going to their position one and two last pick. As soon as they see one of those, it will be a lot better. They will be a lot better. That it's gonna be universe all right og now still for what we'd expect to be anna and hotel zero unless they want to do something like an anna sk mid uh, okay you need to know the match okay okay so but so they are good yeah so yeah. is that more more like for anna to playing that of the no tail do you think uh, it's, it's a more far more anti hero. I think actually, no tip would be the one. Yeah, that's kind you of don't adopted. Think you put him in. It's kind of a that Merkel is. So, no tail is not the one playing ahead of the And I was kind of taking the role that no tail used to play, where he's playing here to actually do something. So, yeah. from that, I think it's more so obvious it's interchangeable. At the last mm. game, yeah. you can do that. I think more is actually playing in places. Which is what makes it now you see heroes and you're like, okay, well, whatever happened in their core last, just like what you're doing in the ground. Just up 
other lines. So we see, that we see at least one goal. I'm very interested to see what RTZ does. I mean, I, I, I guess it's unlikely to see the RTZ PA come through again. We saw him earlier in the series. Uh, he did play the Spark. I mean, did an RTZ Spark. Okay. I. Or yeah, it gets oh. more. Oh. It has, it's, it's a, so now it's a time. Now it's, Ooh. For you, we're just going to like, win the game. That's okay. pretty much the approach that okay. he did. But it's still like an image. And really strong. He's like just in jail. Yeah. During the have no way of killing. It would it just be impossible. If you plus, as I did, it's great. But you're going to pick up the which is a very good way of playing the game. Yeah, and it's something that's a little bit different. I mean, obviously, it's kind of the warning sign for a pick always have a backing up or backing up. I mean, it's time to have an iron only in So, still, yeah. But yeah, you. you have a lot that's they keep you alive and in the front lines of the fights. The question is just how they finish it off, and and that Huskar as well. Is it, you know, there's gonna be some male playing. Or these... um, so male's more of a Huskar player, isn't he? Male, so. Yeah. yeah, I guess they're expecting Swords to take it. I guess technically Arthur and Samel both play Razor as well. This one's G yeah. Tanker gonna give it. Huskar Link, much that we have. That's why they all bad fighter. Super bad, I guess, Huskar would most likely need to believe. I guess. Yes, yeah, looking out for that matchup. Uh, EG now. The final pick. And it's going to be Ursa. So, uh, looking to the lanes be what? Huskar mid, Axel lane, Ursa bottom. Maybe having one of the sports drift over to help Huskar in the early game. I mean, heck, they could even do better. Like Ursa. Yeah. So, yeah. They would put, you know, Axe against the King. Not a terrible remaining. matchup. I don't know what they're going to pick to get it because I think it's going to be Anna's hero. I saw that. Actually, Well, you can't call Marana without Anna. Uh, it's not going to be. He's going to play it. Yeah, he's going to play more. Yeah. No tell Marana in D's going to play. So, in terms of the game plan here, like, is that VG address? What have they changed to? What are they trying to do that's different to game? They lane lines and get the snowball. Where I think that this time um, being on Raiden said it's still a bit easier. And so you'll be able to threaten Roshan early and force you to put a lot of OG to make sure that they themselves are very active on the map and they have to make their own move. And OG just waiting for little geniuses to come to them like it's pretty much all they have to do is score the Wait for EJ to die. counter their one time around. You don't have to go that they're actually force OG to make their own moves by virtue of the threat. Like Roche and have that really good team. Um, actually, like EG's draft war can end the game or it's really unlocked right to. to is there a reason why Crit Solo smoked? Uh, actually. Okay. I think it's pretty much just a... This is a reward that I have. He doesn't have any rewards, yeah. Yeah, it's no. one. I'll be honest. I really am so fucked. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna do one room? I have no idea. That's a little bit awkward. As you can see, cat with the, the very nice setup. And, uh, Auntie, oh, yeah, uh, go pick that one up, so, yeah. <laughs> RTZ, thing that's a ward, and, sure. uh, okay. ooh, boost the arrow, get a few swipes into it, uh, which I can pull forth. Uh, but, uh, let's look at the lineup, so, over on the side of G, Anna, at the moment, yeah, looks like he will actually be, uh, taking him towards that top lane, and, uh, actually, RTZ, still in a bit of trouble, the torrent, again, these arrows for no time, he's missed a couple, doesn't look like it's gonna matter, an S4. He certainly dropped R in the first game. Game two, gonna be a good stuff as well. Getting first blood in RTZ. I mean, tech. Not the start that they wanted, EG. Against the game that yeah. started before the game started. Jeez, oh, boy. Not 
That is what you want. Especially getting New. sinking. Alright, so lanes. Smith did. Gonna be against, uh. Gonna be against Marana. I think Marana had a great first time in this matchup. But it should be awful for Nintendo either. We should be able to get like a farm. That looks like they're actually getting a couple of forwards. I decided to give them a little bit of relief, just understand how hard the matchup actually is in Marana. I mean, they got Crypt there to back him up, so it's a hard kill for OG to try and for. And also, of course, the lanes, s it's easy, that 1v1 match for the time being. Jack's gonna head down there. And fly gonna head up top, make this a, a 2v2 drill lane for the time being, and a safe lane more thing. Universe on the axe, and uh, backing him up on the Omni Knight. So, uh, all things you can learn with that start crown kind of out of way. Do you like what EG's doing this game? Do you feel this could be... him has the potential for a Husk guard to just run out of control? Yeah, go. Middle lane match very good but, uh, currently because kill Sumail gets the three four and try to he's like like counter like there's top two hard. The morph doesn't have any really good gonna show the tower super hard. To just under pull is blocking and blocking this gets clip. Only when you have these Push hard like there's an axe and stuff like that. And you pull it back and on top of it. By bit. Bottom lane. Jerax has toying around with Arteezy. Uh they don't have the mana to go for another road strike. Jerax has got a turn in him. RTZ turning around. Espo's got very stacks on him. He has to be careful there. One more touch from Arteezy will actually kill Espo, but just managed to get himself back under the cover of the tower. He's coming back up and crit. And a bit, a bit of a boost here. Artis is going to come in and S4. Oh, got no escape here. One more touch oh. for the Tauren. Holding him back. Jerax with oh. the plays. Artis is going to go down for the second time this game. And now Jerax and S4 force crit back. Artis giving up his life in the first couple of minutes of this game. It's not the start that EG needed for their carry. Two, so, but I'm, oh, yeah, they, 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 no. Oh yeah. Our or high. Online, on TZ. Having some fun with Torrent. I mean, this is certainly one thing about this hero. You know, Torrent, what ninety mana cost? Uh, that's not a lot. So you, the spam ability of it is uh, being a lot of issues for RTZ on this melee core. Yeah, he's got crit pretty much babysitting him now, and I think we could probably expect crit to uh, pretty much stay down here for a good bit of a while, making sure Arteezy can catch up and farm. This <laughs> you can for real crit five. This guy, fantastic. I see someone's mid, Jerex. Let's come across. Oh, so Samuel's already back. And he, I mean, he certainly is, certainly is one of his playing here. 11 against the 13, 3. He's really been bullying no tail right back. A bit hard to go for. So, uh, it's not connect and so. Yeah, he can just walk through this off. At helm as well. He's a bit of a brute at this stage of the game. Not what OG can do to. With him, especially just two heroes. Gonna do a few more down if they want to try something top. Universe, eh? Bins off. I know. Only very low. Potentially there. One thing about more is real. Here, and just show. Answer. Hello. What mid lane again? They're trying for this torrent amber arrow combo, but they seem to miss it most times. So Mayo will still go down. Jerax, toggling off the, the aggro for the time. 
so the OG get the kill. But uh, yeah, no touch. Got a little bit, be a little bit quicker off the mark with these arrows. Kind of um, overestimate uh, the stun duration of a torrent, and they're not connecting. Still okay. three zero. OG with the kill. Oh, still support. One. Yeah. There. I think he's dead. Second. 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 But he didn't off and get her top. Um, he's not communicating properly with the rest of the team. It's just being like. Oh, I think she needs to be a bit careful here as well. I mean, there's a, a fair bit of first S4 and fly around. No support at the moment ain't around with him. In fact, no tells. Oh, yeah, crit himself. I, he's not got any way to get out of this, especially with Luck coming across. It's going to be a free kill here for No-Tail on the Marauder. And now RTZ left his own. So come across look for No-Tail who leaps away. Up for a bit of a chase down, a little bit of an arrow. He's going to go for the TP back to cement up the damage. Purification from Zai they do. So EG getting themselves on the board with the kill. Yeah, Universe trying to go. Spin, looking for the spins, but Jarex hit the X mark into the torrent. Be a little bit careful about these these spins, but it's not going to be enough to find anything in return. OG, you know, has with no cost at all, apart from the bottom lane. So easy this time, they see the opening, they go for a trade, and they are successful in getting it. Five S4 on the same in return. So he didn't lose any money. Quite as bad. He was like it, but he did pull that out to him. Oh, crit! I mean, we've talked about this man's dire performance, but uh, this series, uh, getting caught out, placed a couple of times, and just three gold. But OG, as I mean, Jarex, he's been having a great game on the cut. Two, got him five of the skills, and just constantly making his presence being felt by EG across the map. The root it's kind of to make moves and as I can move it. Just that's it. It's enough catch shots easy. Not trying to the X mark in the torch. Actually lose S4 and in fact with the array, Jarts easy. He's able to turn it around swap. He wants to find Jerax as well. The Moonlight's going to be there. Do they have detection? They do. A sentry is dropped down. Jerax to be taken as well. Blight's ending up looking for some kind of killing turn, but he has to be careful. Moonlight, in fact, might run out in a second or two. No tail frozen out, but it's going to be jumped out. Now, let's see if they chase this one down. Arteezy, he's hungry. He's angry. He's going to look to try for fight. He's going deep. Chris going to back him up. There's the gap. TP now coming through. The disarm there onto Artur, so we can't find anything else. And Crit, oh, again, he's gonna get punished for this. OG, take down Crit. This Crit can kind of put the blame on Artur, who was going in very aggressive. But EG, they do find those two kills on Fuzzy Wuzzy, which is exactly what RTZ needed to tell Finn. But again, costing Crit his life as RTZ looks for more, and he just can't quite get it chasing down Flan the Oracle. It's always gonna be hard. The potential fly to just turn around and drop a disarm. Yeah, that's the thing that's really interesting about like against Oracle. You can do stuff like that. Uh, but they use it um, to make sure they secure on that Oracle. Yeah. The other thing, too, uh, I want to win this honor, so yeah. Especially if you're going to have AO, just get that extra bonus on the phase. Doing that. I'm pretty much aiming down. But either way, you know, you need some favorable trade. Getting the two. Can see on the net at the moment. It's very close. The three cores of G slice it. It's not so easy. Okay, so the mayor. He jumped up down there. It looks like he'd be bottom just for killing the. So up, up top. Jeff's gonna go for the DPI. He's gonna make. Oh! Holy shit. No kills for me. Hey, finds himself solo on S4. Now, he's not going to be down to mail a little too low. Not quite sure if anything. Well, did have a war vision there one that was playing? I think it was, it was more that he didn't say anything. It's not him. Pink trees look up. I think it's. 
G playing a thing here. Playing no. So, what time drop B and G? You know, they want S4 to become at least. But, I can actually. This person is okay. Kill that rush. Doing it. So, and you need to get more power. It is. And as you said, EG, looking to find another town inside of OG. Falling low already. OG, oh, hey, I'm wounded. It is central. Yeah. It feels bad, and we touch this. They do well. And OG realized. Just out of range as well, around sentry. But OG dropped. Yeah. OG. Feeling the trigger in the Sergei game. Radiance top tower is under attack. And it literally comes on in terms of worth of skill and health and he's not getting contributing a whole team size for quite a while. And we're about like our Shen, Dagnabi, Ax, Money, Scott, is here in the case itself. Just the amount of work he's extended is insane. And that tie they want to get. A lot of that's going to be down to again. Thank you. More like a late stage. I'd say that we should have a pretty good shot. At that point, really advantage their hero. RTC has been able to do a lot more yeah. so compared to the PA. You know, this early on stage, he doesn't need to rely on kind of having the burst from from size verification. He can take down heroes on his own. Thanks for those swipes. And three kills in the bag. And as you said, with the blinks online, you can certainly continue to look for more action mid lane. Got Zai smoked up behind some man in case anyone from the side of Asia wanted to have a go. Universe has got eyes on Anna. Do they have the lockdown and the damage to deal with him? Oh, let's go. They want to go elsewhere. Yeah, they want to get one of these kills mid. No tail and fly moving us together. The call cool onto No tail. He did manage to get the leap off as well. So just far enough away. He can himself straight safe. Roshan? Like, just a. Get a. Like, right. Kill Roshan. Aren't he just being watched at the moment by Jax? Bottom lane, S4. Very close to his blink dagger. Ah, uh, Universe is there, and S4. Yeah, he could be stepped back a little bit here. And he will be indeed. Set back just about. I think it's about a couple of hundred gold placed back, but. It is important that he does find that timing on the blink. They need him for these fights. So, clean pick off from EG. Six to seven. And, I mean, already this game is just looking to come together much more nicely for EG than, than game one, which which fell apart pretty quickly. Yeah, I mean, it's been going back to the planes of Solon. They were. That's how I really. That. Nice start for good. a little bit of space there. Or here. The top. I'm not sure. I mean, OG can I still win. Oh, yeah. They need to climb. Obviously, the Aghanim is start to deal with the amount of damage. That's interesting, which is actually really good. That is a big time. That's part of the G. did not try. Even though S. Word. No, very, very close now again. Let's talk to that. But yeah, EG just swarming themselves around the map, ready to take a fight. You know, Samael and RTZ both in very good places to, to jump down and, and just absolutely chunk the hero of OK to pieces. Roshan is there. RTZ is going to look to it. No life steal on him at the moment, but he can take it down pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Question is, do I get themselves over here to stop it? S4, very hesitant to fight with the, the fact that he is so close to that blink. And looks like just the speed that EG able to do this, it's not going to allow OG any time to react. So they will get away with that Roche. And this, of course, limited maintain a very nice position that EG managed to find themselves in now. And we can see, yeah, top of the net with the two of them. It is still very, very close. But EG, they can pack a lot of punch if they find these fights at this timing. And that's what they want to do. Look top. Oh, this is... 
He's got backup coming in. S4, looking for the epi, but the call from Universe to stop the epi going off. S4 will be saved, but Universe with that play may just save Darteezy's life. Darteezy will come up, but Fly TP's out. Uh, Universe just in time with the call. Really? That really bad. Honestly, you really need to do it quick. I mean, you look at what is always. I had a hero of the vision. It's crap, but I do It's just about able to score Like, that's what you really want. Having the over attack to mitigation and whatnot. More lifting. Mariana. Oh, actually, mid lane towards Samel just jumped in onto Jerax. Right. Turns around with a bit of a hold. S4 coming in with murder strike into the arrow. Samel has got the Aegis. So it will be for round two. Just don't do anything about. Don't have Anna. I can to put the pressure down on the bottom left. Right. Universe coming across. RTG's there as well. Take down Jerax. Damper rolls out for the count. But Anna passed for trade though. Manages to find a tier two down bottom. The fight may not be over yet, yet though. S4. Seeing himself away. And blinks off cooldown. So he'll be fine. Tier 2 in the mid lane may not be though, has Eevee? Need to find that one. Anna, he is knocking on their doorstep. Do we have TPs? We do, so they can back up for this defense. And in fact, they're going to look straight for Anna. Anna. Goes deep and goes out. Anna is forcing EG to back at the same time though. EG did take the fight mid. They found the kill onto No Tail. EP back now will mean they can't find anything messed for. That's epicenter up very, very shortly. Anna forces them back. But they do still lose no tail on the Marana in the mid lane. I mean, but the Marana wasn't necessary. We still got I mean, pushing is not for EG. Is a bit really to delay their just being resulted and through the one. I want to really, really clear. To the E blade, whichever you're gonna have, but the EDM thing to wait. Top universe goes in with the cool, Flame Mel's there as well, falling low, he has got the root hole, but he's already managed to obviously come over here by jumping to the illusion, so can he get out? He can. TP's there. And that's one of the things about EG's lineup. They have not got a lot of tool to cancel TP. Pretty much just Zerka's cool on his own. That's it. So TP's are pre pretty much the aim of the game for OG. And uh, I guess one of the reasons as well why this makes it such a good draft for Anna to be playing the Morphling in. Yeah. Oh, difficult to And EG hit counter. Yeah, that's big. Is they hit their time. Does typically, then you just in the yeah. Thank them for time later. It was the gonna be the oh, yeah, okay. road and a bit small. It's gonna be the next row shot. Start real damage. Not easy, he's going to have, but it's onto an illusion. Realize that now. You find the city too, though, EG. What do they want to go for next? Got a tier one and a tier two to look to take from bottom lane. What well, we've got S4 hanging around at the moment. He's nearly hit level 11 and has got a TP, so he'll be able to get that to get back. Still, obviously, a fair bit of time before uh, Roshan will be back up to EG. See if they can find anything. Jarak Sexes himself comes across. We get a bit of intel, seeing if he can spot anyone out. EG will just maintain their position, tank up the tier one, take that away from. S4 is going to stay down on the bottom lane, maybe see if anyone comes out to clear this wave as support. So, see if he can pop a solo, give an epi. EG, take the tower. Network wise, it is EG with a lead, but only just this game. Very, very close to this stage. So, very, very depending on the taste of the better. Can delay the game. I think it continually kill for EG, though. S4. S4. Yeah, it was spotted up there. They could cross each other. That universe still hunting, but it realizes the Sand King's out. Uh, RT. That one knows. Tell has the axe. He's got a fair bit of burst. 
healing. If you let the bitches do some damage first. I mean, Jerex is there in range with a torrent. Yeah. Oh, nice. No, Force turned up. Jump in onto the TZ. Oh, no. the enraged. Oh. I have the whole of you. Look down at turning up the start. The males relocated in by crit. And they punish half there. And it's to kill the TZ. I mean, it's. Oh, if, if you can't stop him from getting that enrage off, you're not likely to kill him. And there's going to be the chance for this kind of turn. Yeah. They got yeah. together that. And Anna. What up? I have caught the dog. <laughs> Perfect from Universe. Big, big kills. EG fly. S Force in around here has the epicenter. Is he gonna go? Is he go Ooh, that call must have just been out of range. Nearly, nearly catch S Force there. S Force will survive. Unus himself a nice double kill. Fat is continuing to chase down it. Oh, he's got a call. S Force has a TP, so he, he can up to TP straight out. But in fact, well, with these creeps here, it's gonna be a chance for damage to come out from Universe. Not quite enough. S Force blinks out. Artizi's there. See if the, oh, that is bash. Oh, TZ. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's been stuck on the wrong side of a chain of boss and it's happening again. Didn't quite find him. Really? It's, so I think that's why I'm going to that. Some spots are just yeah. room for So, but I've got somewhere. But yeah, that's six coming in from B. I thought they were going to kill. It's a star star. Between the, the next one and the tip. Well, he's, he just leap out on RTZ and find the bash. So, hotel is out. I mean, this is of the uh, a big deal for in terms of controlling Roche and making sure that they can get that on their side. Yeah. For uh, either Samael or RTZ. I mean, Samael at this stage looking very good on the uh, plus card. A half thousand now from the eye. There's more than there to do the damage at this stage of the game, so we yeah, have the tools. To get to hit the top. Yeah. Especially we have five minutes in. Motel, he leapt oh, into oh, this oh. each G. They have you there with the counter. And an interesting pickup as well. I can't this universe going for the shadow blade this game. So he has uh, extra map which is closing in. And getting the, the chance to jump in for these big calls and what? Bubble finds himself a fly. This time flies to some isn't going to do much. So RTZ had the array available. So EG 12 to 7, looking very good at the moment in game 2. And yeah, Universe, he, he's having a good game as we saw pretty much V had in series earlier. He's he's doing very well for himself. Yeah. basically yeah, I mean, if he gets caught, then RTZ can fight through. Damage going to be there every time. RTZ Universe can just, as a two duo, kill whoever they on the map. May not be there, unless you know he gets lucky with the sons. But the, the pick off potential is massive. Yeah. That's going. Dream like. That's your E-timing. Timing. Jumps in onto Anna, and puts himself out of the illusion. Needs to find anything out in return, and oh, it was enough damage. Ends up still going down to burn. After, like, false promise, where's EG, they'll look to punish the Oracle himself as well. Getting another. And EG, they really are pulling it together here in game two. Game one was pretty much less than a shambles, but here they're looking like a well coordinated team that they need to against. OG and well, this is 
strength to strength at each stage in 24 minutes. The worst is going to skyrocket pretty high, probably around the 10 game lead at this point. And you know, this lineup with the Husker, she's the stand. If this Husker gets ahead, which he certainly is, OG, they're going to struggle to buy it and to be able to get to the point where we can deal with them. Well, that's. Yeah. Rankin's pretty the moment pick really because it's just pretty you don't have to you and together go to the big gen. How are they see again? Oh I'm tell? A bit of an awkward leap here. And now he's, he's critting a hard team to deal with. No tell. With no doubt. He's gone. No tell Marana. Has certainly kind of failed to perform in a few of the missions of the game. And I mean, okay. Universe. So they can whoever he wants. Finds S4 and him. Meanwhile, EG2 here is down. They hope that they just got the high ground RTZ jumping in. He's going to head over. X mark. Pounding the ground. And he go for this long flight and Anarada to hold him back. This will be enough. So he'll finish off Jerex, which is creating space for Samel to hit there. Pounding to the towers. The tier 3 is down for the wreck. There's an RTZ to racing across the base. He wants that Admiral. It's like can't quite chase down Jerex though, but it really is only OG back. And that thing EG to find themselves. The T-Rex the bottom. They'll move over towards mid. OG will have the full fight match. So many shoes. They need a massive air percenter or something. And RTZ just jumping behind tier fours. RTZ, I mean, he's got the enrage. He knows he's okay, but incredibly bossy play. But it's doing what it needs to. Giving space for the male. Tier three. Going very, very, very fast. He has ages. They do anything with this. The epicenter on the back line. S4. He caught two. S4 takes down two immediately. Some male out. He needs help. Universe is going to come in. There'll be a buyback from Crypt. Can they cover this EG? Coming through again. S4 with the first strike. Light shares with a buyback from Fly. Well, the buyback from RTZ as well. EG just coming straight back in. Crit relocated in to allow the pressure to continue. Even though S4 hits a nice two man FP, GG is going to be called. EG have done it. They managed to bring series to a game three. And this is this is what we wanted to see. We wanted to see some, some equal from both. So we want a game three. We're going to get it. But I mean, which way is to go? I don't know.